Uh, Mike, I believe you can record now. Thank you. So today, this is Mike Lindsay. This is uh, December 9th, 2000. And uh, I think it was fifth grade math. I believe it's fifth grade math. Yeah, fifth grade math. So these were our problems for fractions. So the first problem uh, we didn't understand what they were getting at. The question was Yeah, that's just what he didn't understand. Um, so he said, it says that this person did one third of a day sleeping, and seven, one third of a day sleeping, and seven twenty fourths of a day in school. What fraction of the day is he either sleeping or in school? He didn't understand that this was an addition problem. So we didn't get past that part. The next question was uh, was uh, no problem. It was just adding two and three quarters to one. And three quarters plus one and two quarters. So we have to convert, we first must convert two to quarters, and we get eight quarters, and then we can take the three quarters, bring the three quarters down. One. Um, this one he had a lot of trouble with this one. He said, of all of the CDs that this person was cataloging, they believed that they had two fifths of it in this category. And they had one sixth of it in this category, call it category B. And then the, the third category was one third. And then another category, we'll call it category B, was one quarter. And we needed to see if this made sense or not. In other words, the question is, are there too many, too many items? Because you can't have more than one. So in other words, 100% is A plus B plus C plus D greater than 100%. And we didn't get that far because Having trouble basically with finding the common denominator for all of it. So um, we 
because we were having so much difficulty, we just went on to the next problem. The next problem was uh, we didn't have any problems. No, we needed to convert 11 fifths to a mixed number. That was not a problem. That was a serious problem. And likewise, one eighths times two times five eighths. And the next one is fifty seven sixths. Six seven sixths. And I was surprised how quickly he did this one. Because I thought his multiplication tables down really well. Nine Three six, and then we got them to want to simplify even greater. To nine. And then um, a little bit difficult for him. Uh, I had trouble realizing that 11 is equal to 11 over 1 and then you multiply the top and the bottom by the same. The number becomes one thing. So you get 33 over 3. I believe we had another problem, but um, I don't have my notes on this. But that's it. Pretty good day.